Hi, it's Al again, and I wanted to do a quick review on the uh, chipmunk rifle, which is also the cricket, as you all uh, know it. Uh, you can get them pretty much anywhere. Walmart, Academy, Cabela's, Bassboro, pretty much any place. Uh, today, any kind of decent gun store is going to have a cricket rifle. And what's cool about it is because you have little kids, these guns are truly made for little children. They're, uh, I think the length of pool is something like 11 inches or something like that. It's very, very small. Uh, but yeah, they have a 16 inch barrel, so that's cool. And uh, you can take the rear side off, which comes with a peep side uh, back here. You can take that off and get this little adapter plate that you can uh, order from, uh, from Cricket itself. Uh, and they're only $15 and you can mount a regular ring fire scope. Uh, in another video that uh, you might have seen, I talked about this Bushnell 4 power scope that you can get in Walmart for $29.95. They're discontinued now and you can still get them at Walmart. I suggest you go get them because uh, uh, they were voted the number one rim fire rifle scope in 2010 and the clarity is very good. They hold their zero really well and you just can't beat the $29.95 scope that is actually quality made on this Bushnell. It's none of that you know, Chinese made, made junk that you could buy or I don't know, those Barzas or Barska that you can order from Russia. Uh, I know some people that have looked at those and got them and they haven't worked out with the darn for them. So, uh, why put a scope on that? Well, if you have a small child, uh, it's kind of hard to teach him at first how to use uh, peep sights. Uh, I certainly had uh, a hard time with mine. Mine finally figured it out. And then once he got it figured out, I went ahead and put the scope in retrospect, kind of looking back, I wish that I'd done it the other way around because it's so much easier for them to learn with a scope uh, and then learn how to hold the rifle properly and, and aim with a, with a regular iron sight that it's uh, probably a much better, uh, it's a more more enjoy enjoyable experience for them. So it, it, he had a few frustrations in getting it down pat um, and that's one of the reasons why I ended up getting getting the scope because uh, although he knows how to aim, uh, you know, sometimes a few weeks go by and he goes back into it and, and he, he kind of forgets and he has to relearn it. Well, with this, you put the crosshairs on it, pull the trigger, and it's done. So it's been really good for him to learn, uh, you know, breathing control, uh, holding it tight against his shoulder, and then just, uh, you know, exhaling, holding it, and, and then just squeezing the trigger gently. Uh, something that you might have run into some of the other rifles is this, this cricket rifle, sort of this uh, chipmunk. When you try to use the lever, the bolt action lever, to pull it back and forth, after a few shots they kind of go up pretty bad and they're, they're kind of hard to do, so it's easier to just grab it by the little knob back here, the cocking knob, and then just do it. Uh, and so it's, it's much easier doing it that way. One trick I learned with mine is to go ahead and uh, put a gun grease uh, all over the bolt itself, uh, not on the face of course, just on the bolt body and then the, uh, all on the outside. And um, that actually did the trick really well, it's nice and, it's got nice and smooth now. Also, uh, here's another trick that you guys may want to think about. I did this to his frosty rifle that I just purchased and then to this one. Uh, after a few rounds, I don't know what, what is with these small 22s, I don't know if you know, nowadays they don't make them as good as they used to, uh, or maybe because they're inexpensive, the tolerances are kind of sloppy, I guess. But the uh, after a few shots, a dozen or so shots, the rounds start getting harder to push into the chamber, and they're also really hard to pull out. Sometimes they get stuck in there, and you got to pull them out. Uh, one quick trick that you might want to try is, which I did to both of the rifles. Get yourself, if you have flits or something like that, that's an abrasive compound, you can certainly, you should use that. But if you don't have anything and you're in a pinch, use uh, soft scrub. Soft scrub has uh, a rubbing compound in it. You, you feel it and it's gritty texture, um, but it's still gentle enough. So what you do is you grab a, uh, not, not a bronze brush, but a steel brush for 22, and you attach it to your cordless drill and put some of that stuff, some of that um, soft scrub.
scrub into uh, or onto the brush itself, stick it in the chamber and just turn it and do that for about five minutes, uh, you know, putting more soft scrub every few minutes in it. Probably I did it twice, I think I added more soft scrub uh, just once more and run it for about five minutes going back and forth, back and forth with the drill. And what it does, it polishes that chamber just nice and smooth. Uh, take it out, use some gun scrub, shoot it in there, uh, run the brush through it, right, a clean brush, brush, brush through it, then wipe it dry, oil it, and then you have a nice smooth rifle that'll chamber real easy, it'll get the shells out real easy, uh, even when it's dirty. So uh, just a trick that you guys uh, may want to think about. So anyways, uh, really think about a cricket rifle for your kids. Um, don't get them started on a big old rifle that they can't reach around really good and it's really too heavy for them. Uh, this is perfect. And also, uh, in our property where we have animals, uh, sometimes we get stray dogs that, that will dig under the fence and get in it. Um, and we have coyotes that come around. So what I've done with this one after I put the scope in it, I showed the wife and uh, she's learned how to use it. We keep it on the uh, in the bedroom and she keeps, you know, obviously the shells apart because it's a single shot rifle. And uh, if she sees a coyote or a dog that comes into the fence and tries to, you know, eat her animals, now she has something that quickly, you know, she can shoulder and fire and it doesn't weigh anything. This thing is, I don't know, four pounds, five pounds maybe. Uh, it's, it's pretty dang light. Uh, maybe it's five pounds. Uh, it's certainly pretty light, pretty short. So this, this is another Another good idea for this is a bug out rifle. You can stick this pretty much anywhere and take it with you and you don't have to pay the penalty of, uh, you know, um, of weight. So for a survival rifle, you know, uh, you're not going to get into a firefight with this, but as a survival rifle, small, compact, you can actually shoot it if you kind of keep your head back. You can get the proper eye relief on it and uh, you can pop the targets with this thing. So. Uh, thanks for watching. God bless everybody.